today i will talk about the action of quadriceps immediately after the heel strike when actually it flex the knee and then it extends the knee the knee goes into flexion uh, approximately to 10 to 12 degree and then it comes into complete extension and in both the phases the quadriceps play a significant role so just look at it the model this subject is ready to hit the ground which is called heel strike heel strike as the name itself suggests strike so there should be two forces, one from the body to the ground. And as per Newton's third law, equal and opposite reaction for every action. So there should be a force, ground reaction force, which should go all the way up through your heel to knee to hip. But the body has a compensatory mechanism for that and we will look at it. So now you can see this is the heel strike. The heel touches the ground. The knee is in complete extension, ankle is in dorsiflexion, the heel hits the ground and then you see there is a mechanism called ankle rocker. Ankle rocker mechanism means, can you see that? At the time of heel strike, the ankle is in dorsiflexion, knee is in extension. Now ankle will go towards plantar flexion. So why this mechanism is important? When the heel hits the ground, and knee is in complete extension, the body has to negate, cancel that force which is coming from heel to knee in order to save the knee and hip. Why? Because these strong forces can harm the knee joint, can harm the hip joint because these forces are very strong forces and it happens with every heel strike. So in order to dissipate, in order to nullify these forces, ankle rocker mechanism takes place. And with this, ankle rocker mechanism means when ankle goes from dorsiflexion to plantar flexion, you can see that. Now this ankle is going to plantar flexion. At the same time, the knee is flexing. You can see that there is a mild flexion of the knee. So the knee is flexing approximately 10 to 12 degree. So ankle rocker mechanism and knee flexion is basically to cancel that force and help the body to move forward on the stance limb. Now you can see that mild flexion. Can you see here? This is the mild flexion. This mild flexion is controlled by eccentric contraction of quadriceps eccentric contraction means lengthening of the quadriceps that is called eccentric contraction of quadriceps so this is the action and this is the mechanism which body shows immediately after heel strike to cancel that force or to decrease the effect of that force Point number one. Now you can see the smile flexion and after this flexion as the body advances over the limb, advances over the stance limb you can say. So this knee again started going from 10 to 12 degree of flexion to 0 degree of extension. Can you see that? Concentrate on the knee. So this action of extension again because of quadriceps. So this is concentric contraction of quadriceps. So you have seen both the things, eccentric contraction of quadriceps to control the flexion. So 10 to 12 degree of flexion, which is important to uh, cancel the effect of the force. And then it goes back to extension in order to move the body forward on the stance limb. So this is the function of quadriceps in this particular phase. And this is very important because this is a mechanism to cancel the strong forces which is coming from the ground and passing from heel to knee to hip. So the mechanism was eccentric, concentric contraction of the quadriceps to control flexion and extension and to move the body over the stance limb Ankle rocker mechanism again is very important 
and heel strike. So this is the effect of cordyceps. This is the action of cordyceps. And in this particular phase, why it is important, I have explained you. In next video, I will show how the ankle muscles work. And what is the role of these muscles during this phase? Thank you. If you like the video, kindly like it, share it and subscribe. Thank you very much.